Okay, welcome back. You're still here on Napalm, your new all Pinoy alternative music program. Uh, we are and having our guests uh, for this week, the Rubber Duckies. Yeah. So uh, let's call all of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, question sa lahat, no? So let's siguro start with uh, Paolo. Uh, ano yung uh, pinaka-memorable performance or, or pinaka-memorable para sa inyo? while you were still doing gigs or siguro kahit online uh, anong pinaka memorable na ano nyo, experience niyo sa rubber duck uh, for me siguro yung mga first gigs namin because of the new feeling uh, personally provinciano ako from Davao so playing in Manila i guess uh, notable might be yung gig namin sa UP uh, UP Theater ba yon uh, uh, playing there uh, and maybe sa latter part of yung pagbabanda yung playing dun sa floating stage sa Marikina wow oh maganda yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. that was uh, nice man. oh uh, yung, yung uh, speaking of Davao uh, Davao was ano eh maganda rin yung music scene nila eh around uh, siguro around 2000 eh uh, and then, uh, by the way, na- nakakamiss yung pagkain sa Davao. <laughs> uh, yeah, mga durian. Even seafood kasi mura dun eh. So, Tuna. nakakamiss. So, tuna. Yan. Sabi. How about si, uh, yan, si Harold? What's uh, yung, yung pinaka, ano, uh, best experience para sa sa'yo uh, playing with the uh, rubber duckies? Yeah, sa akin yun din, yung UP Theater gig. And then yung gig namin sa Ateneo for NU Rockology. We played with mm, the uh, yeah. Heads. Mm, mm, mm. Grabe. Grabe yun. So yun nun. Oh. Before kasi NU was parang well, home of New Rock eh. Parang bahay mm. ng mga ano yun eh. Underground yun eh. So nung nawala yung NU, parang nag-die down din yung interest ng uh, karamihan ng musicians eh. Parang some of them are under the radar. They're still creating music. But at that time, UP, Mayrix, Freedom Bar, kahit saan ka magpunta. <laughs> Parang underground music, iba-ibang uh, sub-genres of rock, metal, or alternative. So yun, UP. Uh, you, you mentioned na, na, na tumugto din kaya sa ibang bars, like Mayrix, uh, yan. Mayrix, Club Dread, Freedom no? Bar. Yes. Oh. Club Dread. Club Dread. Club Dread. So, probably nakakasabay nyo rin yung ibang uh, uh, mga sikat na banda natin dati. Like, yan, The Youth, uh, Parokya ni Edgar, Rizal Underground. Pinsan nakakasabay nyo at that time. Yes. Or depende sa production. Yeah. <laughs> depende yes, sa production. Depende sa production, yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Wolfgang, alam ko, lagi nandun yun eh. Yeah, so, yeah we opened for Wolfgang. Also for P.O.T. Yeah, P.O.T. P.O.T. Grabe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, P.O.T. Oh, how about uh, si Max? Anong pinang memorable sa'yo? Um, aligned kami ni Harold sa mm-hmm. NU gig in, in Ateneo. Uh, that was that was a great set kasi tight yung set namin. So I mm-hmm. always love the feeling. Uh, tapos aligned din kami tatlo dun sa UP gig. Our, that was actually our first gig. First gig. Um, yeah, and then we opened for the youth. Uh, that was that was a great, ano, that was a great gig uh, set then. Kasi ang ganda ng acoustics ng UP theater. So yeah, yeah. bu- buo yung sound. And then yeah, I think si the members of the youth were looking at Pau's gadget. They were. Hmm. Ano bang they were. Gina, gina they were. Pao? Yung pedals, yung pedal board ni Pao. Yung cord mo Pao, di ba? Interesting yun. Uh, kasi <laughs> estudiante pa, sure estudiante pa, and then um, ejo mahal pa at that time ha, sure. Uh, uh, by the way, ano gamit mong ano at that time? Uh, ano gamit mo at that time? Cord. <laughs> Pan- yeah. It's a Pandora. It's a Pandora. Ah, yeah, yeah, Pandora. Yeah, yeah. And oh. of course. Gusto natin magkaroon ng foot switch for that. So, I did a little engineering electronics to have foot switches for that. So, medyo I dub into, you know, because budget, you, you have to make do. 
sa anong gamit mo to be mm. ring. Ano mas madaming sound. Mas madaming mm. sound. Pandora, yun do yung medyo maliit ah, tama? Compact. Yeah. Tapos yes. nilagyan mo ng foot switch. Yeah, I had to <laughs> I had to open that and make some soldering. <laughs> oh, kaya unique siya kasi ano eh. Well, right now kasi marami ng choices eh. Dumating na sing mga ano ibang manufacturers dito. Hindi na siya ganoon kamahal. But at that yeah. time, wala akong pipiliin eh. Boss Denio or kung ano-ano lang eh. Zoom. Yung know, yeah. Zoom later on. Pero at yeah. that time, if you want to have this particular sound, talagang mm. sasakit yung ulo mo kung saan ako kuha eh. <laughs> Nung ano eh. Yung sound eh. Okay. Yeah. See, another question for uh, Paolo. No? Uh, uh, Siyempre, hindi may iwasan. Sa mga banda, may mga disagreements yan eh. Uh, you have different influences. You have different uh, parang uh, views kung paano lalabas yung music or yung part mo. How do you handle those things? Your disagreements or may yeah, konting siguro uh, hindi hindi kay pareho, ganyan. Or, uh, disagreements. I cannot, I cannot really say na meron kaming disagreements. As for okay. songwriting kasi, uh, parang okay. Parang gel naman lahat dahil sa influences. Uh, I cannot remember a time na may magsasabi wag yan dahil bado yan or uh, this, so, uh, this this line or riff uh, uh, parang yeah, it's familiar to it like this na hindi gusto ng, ng ibang members. I don't think uh, we had an experience like that. Uh, any disagreements before and right now in how we do our songwriting wala din, pasahan lang, batuhan lang ng mga files and then medyo civil kami when it comes to songwriting wala naman parang uh, stepping on each other's preferences i guess wala naman like for example my my baseline si Hab, and then ako personally i try to uh, incorporate that or respect that and kung merong changes i'll ask Harold okay lang ba ganito okay lang ba uh, we do this and that and si Harold naman automatic mag sasabi na sasabi na okay lang okay lang so wal, wala talaga akong walang experience man as for the lyrics part wala din uh, Reynard has that uh, possibility uh, regarding siguro mga cuss words wala din open na uncensored <laughs> uh, okay lang kasi we're we're open to that I uh, guess wala namang boundaries the band gels on that part uh, siguro disagreements may be choices of cover songs kasi iba-iba yung influences but yeah, when making yeah. original songs kanya-kanya eh kanya-kanya pumapasok yung influences so uh, for me I take that as something unique na at least si Reynard is into rap ako I'm into punk so sometimes we hear some other people saying na it doesn't mix well but sige lang that's how we work eh uh, kung Halo-halo, salo-salo na lahat. And then, that's our music. Ganun. Hmm. Uh, ang, ang maganda kasi sa genre nung 90s, parang, uh, of course, uh, yung yung market already labeled it like grunge. No? Pero if you want to, if you listen to it, parang yung elements ng music, it's parang literally parang tumatawid siya ng boundaries ng yes. other ano eh. Kasi w- when you say like rap metal, you will hear the rap, you hear the, hear, hear, hear the metal. Kapag ka, naglinya ka ng limang banda na rap metal, you'll, yun parang probably, ah okay, ito yun. Pero when you say 90s grunge, medyo malawak eh. <laughs> parang hindi mo kaya i-quantify eh. Like Soundgarden is different but they label it grunge. Well, uh, Nirvana is different but grunge, Stone Temple Pilots is still grunge pero pag pinakinggan mo parang hindi na magkakapareho to eh parang yeah, yeah, yeah. parang ganoon eh so ayun uh, ang maganda eh so some people might not appreciate it no? kasi uh, some hindi na gusto yung medyo chaotic ng konti gusto nila yung medyo may konting pattern like uh, the way kung paano ginawa yung mga ballad power ballads ng mga white lion ng mga <laughs> but still wala tayong pakialam eh music is wal- walang ta- walang mali eh so ayun Let's hear more music for, from you guys. Uh, ito ang inyong third song, Aftermath of a Heart Attack.
Ayun, uh, that was uh, aftermath of a heart attack uh, from the band Rubber Duckies. Uh, sige, Max, uh, sino gumawa ng riff nito? Uh, that's Pao, still. Ah, uh, si Pao. Oh, it, it reminded me. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so what's the story behind the song Just, uh, uh, Aftermath of a Heart Attack? Um, originally, it had different lyrics. It's called Zombie Walking yata yung, uh, yung title nun. And it was really just about very mundane things <laughs> of a college student. Mm-hmm. Na, you know, walang ginawa kundi uminom. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, hindi na So you, you lose sleep and then you, you know, uh, you walk the college days as a zombie. Um, and then it evolved. <laughs> Uh, it because uh, this is part of the third prong EP, uh, 2002 Shina release. It morphed into a a bad breakup song. Kaya siya, aftermath of heart attack. So one of the more more depressing moments personally for me. Uh, so yun it was you know it, so I I hope na capture yung the pain. That's mm. ano, uh, yeah. That's that's uh, it's a bad breakup song. Hmm. Kaya pala medyo angry yung guitar si. Eh. Yes. Medyo. Yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, siguro. Let's call in uh, the other members of the band. Yeah. So you three guys will decide kung ano ang uh, pinaka magandang kanta na nagawa niyo so far. So. I leave that to you guys. So, in your opinion, ano ang pinaka magandang kanta na nagawa ng Rubber Duckies? Okay, let's start with the uh, Pao. Ako talaga, Rod. Pwede mo na, nakalimutan ko. I'm uh, reading in the script. Hindi ko nakita yung text. Pwede mo lang ako doon. Go! Go, Rod. Okay, sige, uh, Rod. Rod mo na. <laughs> so, Mag-iisip pa si Pao eh. Mo hindi... hindi well, ako, no particular song. Sa akin, I like all our songs. <laughs> oh, yeah, no safe, safe, safe answer. <laughs> <laughs> safe answer. Uh, well, yeah. uh, okay. I'll answer. Uh, uh, basically, I I make the melody kasi I start the melody. So, medyo babies ko sila lahat. So, um, if I had... Compared to my other band, high school, na we collaborate on the melody. Uh, I, here in Rubber Duckies, I start with the melody. Eh. And, syempre, malapit sa akin puso lahat because nanggaling sa akin yung melody or the riff. But if to, wala lang, out of the blue right now, I like them all, but for now, ha, for now, I always had fun time with Purple, uh, the first song mm. featured. Because, um, yung mismo intro the intro it bobs when head bang yung i can jump on that song parang may beat siya or heartbeat na and, and then yon and that's why i chose that for now but mm. uh, lahat uh, i still put that on my playlist the songs of rubber duckies so every now and then i get goosebumps na, oh okay 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 pa din okay syempre <laughs> galing galing <laughs> <laughs> so purple, okay. Then purple, Max. Yeah. Um, for me, I guess same. Then uh, they're, parang they all have lived their lives as songs. But parang my my special spot for me, yung first song that we ever wrote as a band. Parang kasi siya yung nag. Uh, it's a ballad, but it's not released. So, released. Some, something to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, it's called False Alarm. Uh, it's still about ah, okay. uh, it's about unrequited love. So, that's mm. also very hindi interesting. Pa siya ngayon. Hindi niya pa, hindi hindi siya, hindi pa siya na release. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, if you guys, uh, ano, ba, na kompleto nyo, uh, let us know. Uh, tas, well, we can feature it. Ba, gusto nyo, ano, we can give you uh, some time to yeah play the song and maybe talk about it uh, a little. Sure. A little. Sabihin niyo kami. Right. Oh. Hmm. Well, for me, hindi ko pa narinig kasi lahat eh. Well, nung narinig ko yung uh, ano, aftermath of a heart attack, 
gusto ko yung riff ni Paolo, medyo napapahedbang ako, parang it reminds me of uh, helmet nung ano eh. Parang gano'n eh. Ganun yan eh. Kung baga nagawa yung riff na yan, mga two, early 2000s, so syempre what's on TV, what's on radio, <laughs> uh, yun ang luwalabas. Mm-hmm. Anong, ano, ano nyo, uh, gamit mo pala ng distortion na? Anong drive gamit mo? Yan, um, I think I had that Zoom, I forgot yung model, but it's, na may mga amp modeler na, it's a mm-hmm. Zoom. Uh, yeah. So, ayun, it's not pedals, it's uh, amp, it's multi, multi-effect yun, because it's in recording. Ah, no, 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 kung aftermath yan, pod yun. Line 6 pod yun sa studio na ang kami nag-record. Direct, maganda yun. Mm-hmm. Pod, yeah. Yun yung gamit ng studio, yun gamit ng engineer. So, I just use that. Tama pala. If I can. Mm. Yes, Charlie. Okay. So, uh, question to all of you guys. Uh, umpisa na natin kay Harold, no? Yeah, about regrets and missed opportunities of the band. What do you, in your own personal ano, point of view, what are those regrets and missed opportunities of the band that you remember? Uh, for me, personally, I wish we never stopped. We never took a long hiatus. Sayang, I wish we just kept on performing, kept on writing, but I had to go to med school. I had to study. Uh, even before, alam yan ng ibang friends ko na tumutugtog. I was in internship, clerkship. Mm-mm. All the while, iniisip ko, sana andun ako. I wish we're performing, recording, writing songs. Pero nandito ako, nasa hospital. Mm-mm. So, yun ang biggest regret ko. I wish you never stop. So, probably, oh. baka sa hospital, naka na si Harold, na headphones tapos habang nag-opera, may headbang ng ganun. <laughs> Ayaw ko magpa-surgery sa iyo, Rold, kung... Hindi naman ako surgery. Hindi naman ako surgery. May naalala ako. Napanood mo yung Doctor Strange. Nag-opera siya. May music, di ba? Yeah. Pwede mong gawin yun, Rold. So how about you, Paolo? Any regrets or missed opportunities that you remember? Well, specific yun sa akin because we're talking about the hiatus. Uh, even Harold went to med school. We had uh, other band members, eh, sila Boo and sila Tatot. Uh, we continued playing, but my regret was uh, mga circa 2002 or 2001, circa 2002, the band was really aiming for a record deal. And Ayun nga, uh, priorities change and we had to stop. Yun lang. Uh, I, I really thought that we're, we're in the verge of getting into something. We're all in Manila. So, syempre, compared now na we're in the province of Sisquart and Manila is the center of the music industry. Uh, at that time, I, I just felt in an, in a, an alternate universe na we could have made that. Kung nag-stick lang kami. Kung nag-stick lang kami a little longer. And then, and yun, establishing the right connections. Wala naman problema yun. Kasi logistics-wise, it was doable at that time. Okay. How about you, Max? Um, yeah, I agree with Paul about the that fork in uh, in the road. Uh, we we had that opportunity to when we were recording the third prong, I think it was the um, engineer Noel uh, Bracken who said, "Now you know um, we can pitch this to to a major label," and uh, yeah, um, we we took the hiatus, yeah, and then just you know, uh, life caught up. So yun could have been it's a, it's an alternate. Reality altogether, uh, but then, parang ganon pa it somehow still led us to today, now, which is the absolute now, and uh, I think it couldn't have ended up otherwise or, or better. Yeah. Okay. So well, let's. I, I, okay. Yeah. Arts. Uh, uh, well, I, I don't know. Uh, lang. I, I think I don't know. Because before, 
Uh, mahirap din talaga eh kasi there's only parang selected channels para i-showcase mo yung ano mo eh, music mo. And yung 107, like uh, Sub-23. But uh, I, I think right now, no, uh, it's a good timing. You guys are back. And then uh, aside from Enyo 107, you have this Napalm. You could have your own YouTube channel. You could have, alam yun, uh, you could create your own channel for, for you guys to, ano. So I think okay din eh. I mean, this could, guy, this time could be uh, a good, uh, a good uh, opportunity for you uh, to create new music, uh, share your music to a wider audience, no? So, let's hear more music from uh, Rubber Duckies. Uh, fourth song entitled uh, I, uh, I-L-Y-A. Do you wear the wind? 
Ayun. Uh, so that's uh, ILYA from uh, Rubber Duckies. Yan. Harold, kwetoan mo kami. Anong uh, story behind this uh, song? Okay, as as I mentioned to I mentioned to Reynard to Max recently when somebody asked about the song title on Facebook, I said Res Ipsa Lokitur, the name speaks for itself because the song title is a girl's name. I just made it look mm-hmm. like an acronym. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's Il, yeah. that's her name. Way back in college. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. So is this a parang love song ba to? Parang medyo ano parang eh, uh, yung ibang song din namin, mga heartbreak song. <laughs> yeah, mm, that, that was uh, second year song. college. There was this girl. She noticed that I liked her. And then after that I noticed that she didn't like me. Mm. So I was like mm, okay, okay. Okay, I'll write a song. Then I wrote mm. I wrote the lyrics and I approached Max and Paolo and we made a song. <laughs> mm, okay, okay. Yun ang uh, kwento ng uh, Ilya. Hindi hindi na mga nakita na, hindi pa kayo nakita ulit. Ah, hindi. Well, uh, well, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Pass na yun, pass na. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Sige. Uh, let's call in uh, Max and James. Okay. Okay. So, um, syempre, meron tayong ano eh, um, uh, parang uh, family, meron tayong work, meron tayong, so ang dami nating uh, binabalance ngayon. So, how do you find time for that, uh, for those, those uh, activities? So, yeah, sige, sumula natin kay Max muna. Um, yeah, that's true, no? Um, so, so, so much things to to balance and juggle. So uh, I guess time management uh, through the years, uh, somehow na master na rin natin. It helps really all of these. Technology really helps in terms of you know um, instant messaging and also, uh, um, I guess project management tools or whatnot. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So technology also plays a, a very important role in in uh, managing all these, uh, staying on top of everything. So you mean Max, uh, uh, lahat halos sa schedule mo naka project management tool. Even hindi naman, uh, hindi naman. Kala ko pati meet with uh, mom and dad. <laughs> Notepad lang. <laughs> Notepad, okay, okay. Sige, sige. So, okay. how about si Harold? Uh, yeah, ganun din. Uh, time management, uh, priorities, setting priorities. Well, lahat naman tayo, you, di ba, you always find time to do what you love. And in our case, uh, music, kahit pa paano hindi yan nawawala sa buhay. Whether you're making music, listening to music, uh, writing, performing. Yes, Charlie. Mm-hmm. Of course. Now, let's let's call upon uh, si Paolo. Yes. Okay. So, Paolo, I just like your opinion on this, no? Kasi you guys have plan na yung, yung regrouping nyo noong 2020, tapos you guys are mm-hmm. setting up something. So what is the plan of uh, rubber duckies this coming 2021? Ano ba yung major achievement or milestone yung gusto nyo ma, ano, to reach this 2021? Okay, uh, 2021 is just around the corner. So what we plan to do, what we plan this year kasi 2020 is we release one song per month. So sometimes hindi namin nakabutan yung one song per month. Ang nangyayari is parang one song two per two months. But it's okay kasi we all agreed naman na uh, we are flexible and hindi naman, wala naman talagang, I mean, set deadline. But we pegged ourselves uh, first quarter of next year na ma-release yung album. It's, it's basically... Uh, it's basically an album release of all the songs already, or the singles released already in the past few months. But may mga freebies lang, or may mga uh, additionals lang, or maybe uh, remastering or remixing of all those songs to be more uh, concise and medyo cons- consistent 
and we'll be releasing that to Spotify. Uh, that's the first phase of really finishing these songs. These songs are basically uh, what we released this 2020, our own songs, uh, songs that we did never release before, but there were made in the 90s. Pa. So parang, kumbaga, for me, I suggested that we had a closure on these songs. Paga lang naman ma-present siya in a, in a presentable way. Maganda ang pagka-mix, master, and then release that and bahala na, bahala na si Batman on those songs. And from there on, after the release, maybe 2021, we'll be dabbling on maybe a few more B-sides kasi yun na released. Uh, it was mentioned before na baka yung pinaka-first first song talaga namin, False Alarm. Uh, we'll revisit those songs kasi ang daming songs pa before na we really wanted to finish. And then after that, kung naubos na talaga, then that's the time, or maybe in the middle of it, while doing the old songs, we'll be presenting or making new songs if time permits. So that's the plan. Uh, technology really helps now. Wala naman talagang mm. deadline, walang label. We have our social media, we have Spotify and all other providers. Na we can work on it. Basta lang, continue lang, tuloy-tuloy lang. Uh, don't stop. Don't stop in the, uh, uh, music making. That, that's the whole plan for 2021. Okay, so speaking of uh, new songs or you know all the songs that are coming up, let's hear your ano, fifth song in the list entitled uh, Butterfly AFX. So let me, uh, of course, always, Max, what is the story behind the song Butterfly AFX? Um, itong song, it's really just an echo of, uh, it's a loser anthem, uh, personally. So, mm. yeah, it's an echo of, you know, Loser by Beck and uh, mm. Self-Esteem by Offspring. So, yeah, it's just all about, um, you know, feeling sometimes that... Uh, you could have, uh, I think, parang, uh, uh, the way I imagine it, parang yung nasa classroom ka and then the teacher asked the question. Tapos, you know the answer, pero you never raised your hand. And then someone else raises their hand, teacher calls them, and, uy, yun ang sagot ko, pero di ko sinagot. Alam mo yun, yung parang ganun. Nakainis. Y- yung song reminded me of 
parang Nirvana, Nirvana vibe. Eh. Yes, that's uh, the that's the comparison always <laughs> with, with that song. Yes, uh, and, yeah, proudly so because we're uh, great Nirvana fans. Yes. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah. Given the uh, let let's let's probably bring in everyone. Si Paolo and si ano, si Harold. Because I would like to ask the um, you know the final question. So you guys are are doing music again for the longest time now on your 25th year. So my question obviously is, uh, what can you advise the mature artists? that would like to continue their music career at this point in their lives, just like you. Uh, let's probably start off with Harold. Okay, uh, for all musicians out there, uh, just, just keep doing it. Don't let anything stop you or keep you away from your music. Not a pandemic, not a not anything don't let anything get in the way of your dreams so do Just what continue. you love keep at it never stop okay so how about you paulo ako uh, i advise for the mature ones a mature uh, bands or musicians na nagayatus then uh maybe it's time to learn a new instrument and that instrument would be uh the laptop and the audio interface. So, <laughs> kasi kapag nasa bahay ka, when inspiration strikes, you just record it. And then there are also tools naman to really send those files to other band members and it becomes easier. Kasi naman, if, if you don't know how to record, uh, you'll be forced to go out the house, go to a studio, book your studio, spend much. Uh, and then, yun, nakakasira yung na ganun. Na, na momentum uh, and then uh, other band members might turn, turn off because yeah, no time, no budget but if you have those stuff sa bahay nyo lang, it's very simple uh, and very affordable naman. then try doing that and then this is what happened to us kaya nabuhay kami this 2020 is because Harold has an audio interface, he can record his bass all the way sa Bicol, Naga, ako Davao Reynard is in Bacolod uh, technology now is different compared to early 2000s, uh, 90s. We can we can really do that stuff uh, before. It's it's so hard. Ngayon mas ganon siya, uh, mas accessible. And para sa mga tamad, pwedeng pwede ngayon. <laughs> pwede ngayon, pwede na ngayon na just to make music. Uh, mas madali na eh. And, uh, yun na nga, I was thinking about this, pondering on this na. It's really so easy. It's just a matter of going to YouTube and learning how to do to do things and how to record. It's very easy. And then uh, maybe someone in the band, like in our band, ako yung naging producer, I'm the one who's mixing. Uh, mahilig ako doon. And that's why, if wala namang ganun sa band, uh, that's when you send all your files to another person, kaibigan, preferably, uh, to finish all those songs. But that, yeah, do that. Do that continuously lang and don't stop. Okay. How about you, Mac? Um, say no in terms of just really don't stop. Uh, I think Pao mentioned earlier that I have this notebook of lyrics. I, I still keep at it. I still, I think almost on a daily basis, I, I write. So don't, never stop because you know when, when your muse hits, you know just uh, indulge, and then. Uh, for the mature ones, I I would say you know don't don't quit your day job. I think that's the illusion that we've been programmed. Na parang uh, rock musician or musician, you know, it, it can really. But iba yung reality ng pinas eh. Uh, you know, you can't really earn totally except really. Pag, you know, I think the '90s bands they they had that you know, in 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 that reality but now well, we need the, the day jobs to you know to provide for our needs put food on the table so yeah okay thank you very much guys uh, for the insight so we will pause for a short break stay tuned here on napalm your new oil pinoy alternative music source Magbabalik ang new All pinoy alternative music dito lang yan sa v81 radio manila 
Are you ready to explore a new kind of music? Yung bang kakaiba na hindi mo pa napapakinggan, mga bagong artist? Nagugulat sa inyo sa kanilang awit at tugtugan. Discover them, hear them in Napalm Hour. Ang Napalm ay ang new all Pinoy alternative music source na para sa kakaibang musika. Alternative artists and bands all the time. Catch them at Napalm Hour. Mondays through Fridays, 12 noon to 1 p.m. and 8 to 9 p.m. Streaming live on V81 Radio Mobile App. Kaya i-download mo na for free. Now na! Balikan na natin ang new All Pinoy Alternative Music. Dito lang yan sa V81 Radio, Manila. So welcome back. You're still here on Napalm, your new old Pinoy alternative music source with our guest artist of the week, the Rubber Ducky. So let's us proceed to our announcement on board. So we are inviting every uh, band out there, artists, to send us your songs and composition to our uh, email, southmanila at v81radio.com, so we can feature them in our program and in Napalm Hour. So the format you send it to us is uh, via MP3 audio. These are the bit rates. And please name the, the songs, the titles of the songs in this manner. Artist first, then uh, dash the, the song title itself. Okay, so V81 Radio and Napalm and all of our programs are available via Facebook Live and YouTube Live. And if you're in the US, you, it's accessible also through Amazon Alexa. Some of our uh, programs can be, uh, can be heard over Spotify and tune in. And uh, there are programs that we are doing a uh, podcast as well. And they are available through Apple Podcasts as, and Google Podcasts. Check out v81radio.com for all of our schedules, um, the program details, including the anchors and uh, the themes. And of course, to enjoy music all the time, uh, please check out v81, download V81 Radio mobile app uh, via Google App Store and uh, via Google Play and Apple App Store. So we are thanking our uh, sponsors in illusioncorp.com. They are providing us the audio and video solutions that we're currently using. So it's shown in the board their telephone numbers, their cell phones, and their Gmail. So always, uh, if they would like to check them out, uh, just go to their website, www.inolutioncorp.com. Uh, this is for, uh, this is called Re Disruptors. Uh, a, you know, the company of parts and they are providing uh, IT hardware and software solutions. So please check them out, www.codedisruptors.com. Uh, their phone numbers is 0998-582-7731. Uh, uh, yeah. And we if, also have uh, go ahead. recording studio. Uh, Located uh, in uh, Unit 606, Globe Telecom Plaza, Pioneer Highlands. For uh, uh, telephone number, 0286617941. This is Max's ad. Yeah. Uh, yes, FGC Plus uh, is a Bacolod based uh, BPO, and we're uh, urgently hiring uh, these positions, shipping secretary, bookkeeping data entry specialists, authorization coordinators, Dutch data entry specialists, nurse QAs, appointment setters, uh, UX, UI designers, and sales representatives. Thank you. Mm, yeah. Max, uh, this, uh, yung mga positions na to is sa Bacolo din. Kailangan dun sila based. Or yes. iba ibang, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yon, sa mga ng trabaho, this pandemic. Mm. Oh, call Ma uh, Max. <laughs> anyway, so I just like to remind every all of our viewers that uh, after our program, we have two more programs uh, on the slot. 
which is Let's Chat with Tita Gracie at 6 p.m., hosted by Tita Gracie. And of course, uh, Practical Magic at 8 p.m., hosted by Reverend Reg Tan. So let us call all uh, everyone, si uh, Harold and si Paolo. Okay, guys, um, just like to get your message to all your fans, viewers, relatives, friends, and your, you know, your, your growing and uh, loyal fans through all these years. Uh, please uh, tell them your last message to them. Let's start off with Harold. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I only want to remind you to stay safe in the midst of the pandemic. Look out for each other, support each other, support your musicians, and keep on supporting Pinoy alternative music. How about you, Paolo? Uh, thank you for inviting us, uh, Napam, uh, sa mga fans, supporters, salamat sa support niyo. And then uh, keep on supporting OPM. That's all. Good afternoon. Okay, and finally, Max. Uh, we would like to thank Napalm V81, South Manila. Um, I'd like to a special mention to Raleigh, who hooked us up through my sister. They're friends in the in the U.S. And of course, thank you, Charlie and Pards, for having us today. Um, support OPM as always, and then uh, stay tuned for watch our social media spaces. There's more music coming from the Rubber Duckies. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Okay. How about you, Pards? Uh, uh, Max, uh, if ever na matapos yung uh, new song ninyo, yeah, let us know uh, so we can maybe uh, do a short feature here in uh, Nipam. Ayun, uh, Max, uh, Harold, uh, Paolo, salamat sa pag-share ng music ninyo. And hopefully uh, in the future episodes, maybe we can... Uh, uh, have you here uh, ulit uh, for uh, some other features. So, yeah, thank you to my uh, wife, my son, my mom and dad, uh, yung mga friends ko na nakikinig. Yun, maraming salamat. Uh, yun. Okay. Yeah. So, for me naman, no, uh, and in behalf of V81 Radio as well as Napalm, we would like to thank the Rubber Duckies and of all of our viewers and music communities to actively supporting Napalm all this time. Always remember, Napalm is your alter uh, new Pinoy alternative music source. So we, before we end, we would like to play the final song of the Rubber Duckies entitled Dark Ball. So good afternoon, Paul. Thank you very much. At last, we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. At last, we will have revenge. <laughs> Oh, 